Number four is your experience. So when you go down to the experience section, you will see all of these different uh, places that you've worked. Um, you can uh, add those in there. You can also put in um, what you've done. So one of the big things that I talk about, again, make it tell when when don't just tell people what you did in a particular job role give specific numbers on how you benefited the company that you worked for so that's the biggest takeaway for this section for the experience section give specific numbers on what you've done for the company that you've worked for so um, I even will bullet point this out um, I'll say what I've done and then I'll give specific numbers so increase client sales leads by 125 point six percent increase automotive client sales revenue by 27.4 percent so I, I use numbers very heavily in my previous positions and so this way if whether it's a you're trying to attract a client to work with you they have specific numbers on what you've done if you're trying to re attract a recruiter or um, a, if you're looking for a new job and you want people to see what you've done that information is in there as well so um, and then have a contact me section again I always I put it in my um, in my experience sections as well uh, and then specialties so again you're you're looking for keywords that you want people to find you for here so again specialties are things that you've done um, so if you uh, you know if you're a digital marketer you would have things like search engine marketing website optimization data analytics Facebook advertising campaigns things like that um, if you're in a different business it's going to be slightly different for you but these are basically the keywords that you want people to find you for so that's what you add in here so your experience section fill out make sure you fill out all of your experience all of your previous work experience and make sure that you uh, use a format similar to this and again as part of this course I include a LinkedIn profile template where you can copy and paste all of this information uh, from my LinkedIn profile and you can just edit the text to make it yours so you can use the same format so that's provided in a separate lecture. Now in order to update your experience section, you would just come in here and click the plus button. And it's going to give you the ability to add new experience. So you could type in, uh, you know, whatever your title is, whatever your company is, the location, the time period. Um, if you still work here, toggle that on. And then the description. Um, and then you can also update or add external documents like photos and videos and presentations. So if you want to do that, and I recommend that you do that, click upload and you can pull in files from your computer. So you can see when I close out of this, and then once you're done with this, make sure to click save. Um, and also my recommendation is to uh, leave this toggled on to yes, update my network. So if you add in a new position or if you uh, make changes, then people will see uh, what you did in your, news, in your news feed. So people that you're connected to will see that you added a position. So when you X out of here, you can see some of the, um, the media that I've added. So this is a, um, a PowerPoint presentation that I did. So it's, you can see it's 36 slides. This is actually from SlideShare. Um, this is just a screenshot of uh, uh, some uh, website analytics for somebody. So this is pretty easy to add some media in here. And this, as you can see, when you're scrolling through somebody's profile, this catches a lot of attention. So I definitely recommend you adding some media. So experience is the fourth section of your LinkedIn profile that you need to make sure that you fill out to have an exceptional LinkedIn profile, one that ranks in at least the top 20%, uh, pop, probably in the top 10% of all your connections. So 